Hello there. Hey guys, and welcome back to a base Jedi Temple. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what the Filoni verse is and what it will do to the sequel trilogy. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. I post every day on this channel. And uh, yeah, let's head right into this video. Well, if you don't know what happened in the finale episode of The Mandalorian, and I'm pretty sure all of you do, well, Luke Skywalker comes back and saves Din Djarin, Bo-Katan, Cara Dune, and Grogu from a bunch of dark troopers which would probably have killed them, and Moff Gideon would have probably been alive. So, when he saves them, he asks Din Djarin if he can take Grogu under the ways of the Force and train him to be a Jedi. Now, let's just pause here for a second. This makes absolute no sense. Because we know that Kylo Ren was actually Luke's first apprentice. And somehow Luke is taking him to train with him to become a Jedi. So that would technically make Grogu his first apprentice. But we already know that Ben was supposed to be his first apprentice. So what is going on here? Well, it's pretty simple. In one of the Rebels episodes, Ezra encounters one of these dimensions where he comes through and looks through one of these portals which looks to be Ahsoka vs Darth Vader and it's kind of like time travel and I never really liked the idea of that in Star Wars and he looks at them fighting and the owl above the portal tells him to take Ahsoka out of it to save her and while this happens she comes to the back of the portal and Ezra gets his chance to pull her out and he does pull her out and now this is where the Filoni verse comes in so we know in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker episode 9 Palpatine actually had uh, Grogu's blood with him to create Snoke. Uh, so Snoke was technically not a clone. He was a bioengineered, uh, let's say, being that Palpatine could actually control. And somehow in Rise of Skywalker, he had position of Grogu's blood. So let's say that Ezra never saved Ahsoka. This would lead the conclusion of Moff Gideon kidnapping Grogu and then Din Djarin Bo-Katan, Cara Dune, looking for him, but this time, when all the dark troopers come, they won't have any help from Luke Skywalker. And it was pretty obvious that they would die because Din Djarin had a lot of trouble with just one dark trooper. And let's say an entire platoon of them coming at all of them. This would literally kill them and when they would kill him Moff Gideon would have position of Grogu and he would take him to the netherworlds and to Palpatine to make more Snokes. So I know a lot of people actually don't like the sequels. I wasn't a fan of it myself. I did like The Force Awakens and I think that the Filoniverse will be a great way to reunite the Star Wars fans and the Star Wars universe in general and say that you know if you like the sequels it's still canon you can watch the sequels and the Filoni verse is also canon and you can watch the Filoni verse too so I think that would be pretty awesome and this will literally make everyone jump on their seats every prequel fan um, every Star Wars the sequels haters I'm not hating on the sequels I'm just saying that some people didn't like them and I think that the Filoni verse can help us and you know like get give us good Star Wars back and we have the Acolyte coming we have uh, the Ahsoka show coming so the Ahsoka show can actually be a way to explain the Filoni verse in some ways we didn't know. Now, is this possible? Yes, I think it is very possible. But maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just bluffing. But yes, for me, this is very possible. And I think this would be very, very cool. And maybe, maybe in the Filoni verse, if it comes true, we'll get the uncut version of the sequels that George Lucas gave to Disney but suddenly, um, you know, got betrayed. Um, so I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, Maul versus Luke Skywalker. 
and you know we'll get better Luke Skywalker. We'll get the Luke Skywalker that never hid, um, that fought for the rebellion and the Republic. You know, and with Lucasfilm games coming out, I think that they could make a Filoniverse game, uh, not a movie, but maybe they can make a sequel or like just a felony verse and anything maybe a movie a game a comic a book anything just make a felony verse now what i like is that this makes so much sense and john favreau and dave feloni i think purposely did this so they can make an alternate dimension for you know sequel haters I know that they weren't fans of, uh, you know, the new Luke Skywalker in the sequels. Mark Hamill wasn't a fan of the sequels Luke Skywalker. And I think that they purposely did that so they could make a, you know, another alternate timeline called the Filoniverse. So people that dislike the sequels could have good Star Wars again and that was the main reason for some people that stopped liking uh star wars you know it was the sequels they didn't like luke skywalker in the sequels it was just not their luke skywalker it's not my luke skywalker and a lot of people feel that way so i think that the feloniverse will help us reunite the kingdom of star wars fans and yeah and disney already kind of proved that the felony verse is going to be happening because on disney's on investors day they announced all these star wars tv shows that are coming out all before the sequels did so take and or the acolyte the obi-wan kenobi show they take a uh, place all way before the sequels um yeah, so that's gonna be amazing to see. Uh, they kind of already proved it. They're kind of doing it like the MCU. They're bringing everything together. And this is the one that I really want to happen in the Filoniverse. And it is some Legends characters that we never got to see in canon. And it's basically like Mara Jade, Anakin Solo, yeah. Uh, Leia's kid and Han's kid was named Anakin. Pretty cool, right? And you know all that good stuff. Uh, I think this. I'm super, super hyped, and hopefully this theory comes true. Because if not, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. No, I'm joking. But yeah, hopefully this theory comes to life. I really want it to. I mean, you know, it's it's not the sequels. It's better sequels, like. We're getting better Star Wars here, guys, and hopefully you guys want the same. And you know, I don't, I don't hate the sequels. I mean, I hate Last Jedi, but Force Awakens was pretty good, and The Rise of Skywalker was pretty good. But it basically just chucks Anakin's legacy down the garbage and down the drain. And you know, same with Luke's legacy. Like Luke would never hide, try to kill his own nephew, and. I think uh, Star Wars should give um, the story to Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni because I think they could do an amazing job. And you know, they did an amazing job on The Mandalorian, Clone Wars, all of the their shows that they did. And uh, they're getting even more shows and I think it's going to be amazing. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Dave Filoni is getting all of his own shows. and. It's gonna lead into the Filoniverse eventually. Maybe in the Filoniverse, they can bring back Mace Windu, which I've made a theory on. And you guys can go check it out right now. Um, link, no, I'm not gonna put in the link in the description. You guys can just click a card uh, right up here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I post every day on this channel. And guys, make sure to go check out my Discord server. I'll be posting all of the latest news that I'm going to be doing on my channel. And it's going to be awesome. We talk there, have fun. So the link to that will be in the description. And uh, yeah, may the force be with you. Bye. We would be honored if you would join us.